England. Labour says the government has let cancer patients down, reorganising services and stepping back from measures that might prevent cancer, like introducing plain packaging for cigarettes. Brown and Jeffries, BBC News. The Conservative Vice Chairman for Business Relations, Alan Lewis, has been arrested over an historic allegation of rape. Mr. Lewis, who is 75, is the multi-millionaire owner of the Crombie clothing chain. He was detained after a woman claimed she was attacked in the late 1960s. The head of Kenya's National Intelligence Service will be questioned by lawmakers on Monday amid growing public concern that the country was inadequately prepared for an attack. It comes amid reports that the Kenyan government was warned by Israel of a high risk of action by Islamic militants before the siege at the Nairobi Mall last week. Andrew Hardy reports from Nairobi. New footage from the attack here in Nairobi. This was filmed by the Kenyan Red Cross as they struggled to help civilians caught up in the bloodshed of the West Gate Mall. Today, there are new claims that the Kenyan authorities overlooked security warnings ahead of the attack, but it's not clear how specific those warnings were. Roughly a third of the wall now lies in ruins. Rubble is slowly being cleared away now, but there's no news yet about dozens of civilians still reported as missing. The man in this photo went into the mall last Saturday and helped save many people, including this young girl. We hugged the, the tear gas canisters. She got the, 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 the little girl out, 